Sam Cedar on the Majority Report on the phone. Sarah Benacasa, you can check her out at sarahbenacasa.com. She is a comedian. You you do a lot of stuff, Sarah, don't you? I try to, Sam. I definitely try to. Thank you so much for having me on the show, by the way. My pleasure. Sir. You 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 blog for uh for Wonkat. You you blog Thank for you. Comedy uh, Central, right? Yeah, I blog for Comedy Central's political satire site, indecisionforever.com. And I blog for Wonkat and write filthy things for them. And uh, I'm just finishing up a book right now. So a lot of writing, and then I travel and, and do the comedy. So tonight I'm hosting uh, Planned Parenthood NYC's benefit show at the Bowery Ballroom. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty stunning, isn't it? How, how, how in 2011... In some way, it's it's shocking that we need to raise money to uh, fight the onslaught of of this attack on this on this basic right for 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 women. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think there's a fundament. I think what it essentially boils down to uh, is that there's a fundamental disagreement among people who are pro-choice and I think what I'm supposed to call anti-choice, but which I will call pro-life just because that's what they call themselves. Um, uh, and it is, there's this disagreement over the idea of when human life begins. And to me, that's something that's not going to be solved. You know, we see it as an inalienable human right, uh, to be able to terminate a pregnancy and they see it as murder. And so, uh, you know, depending on who's got more power in the country at the time, I suppose the power balance tips, uh, and, uh, and we have to have rock and roll shows for, uh, for, right. to preserve the right that, that we care about. Exactly. Well, I mean, you know, the bottom line is that it's a uh, it's a right granted by or at the least, uh, um, uh, I should say, edified by the Supreme Court. And sure. at the end of the day, I, I, I mean, this is as much about misogyny in my mind as anything else, because we have, uh, uh, you know, the next step. If the Republicans didn't use this as an as an electoral um, uh, uh, wedge uh, and, you know, I don't think they'll ever sort of uh, 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 come out and attack it f- uh, fully frontally as a right because they'll lose a lot of what drives, I think, a lot of their voters to the polls. But the, the next step is 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 also contraception. Absolutely. Yeah. And and the thing is that, you know, Planned Parenthood doesn't receive federal funding for abortions. Planned Parenthood receives funding for all sorts of different things from prevention to to providing the provision of um, low cost and no cost uh, birth control options to things that have really nothing to do with the production of babies per se, such as cervical cancer screenings and, and breast cancer screenings and mammograms and things like that. There are a lot of women whose only health care provider is Planned Parenthood. But don't you think God should really just sort that stuff out? Well, here's the thing. I recreationally murder babies. So right. God and I haven't been talking lately because we had a breakup a few years back. But, um, you know, I think that he, with a capital he should definitely be in charge of everything. I think you're right, Sam. I think so. I'm glad that we're both on the same page um, and that we're actually both secretly conservative fundamentalist Christians. Shouldn't that guy take his scepter and every time uh, Planned Parenthood uh, tries to force feed kids um, uh, contraceptive pills and um, uh, forcibly uh, put condoms on them, shouldn't he take a scepter and just strike them down? Yeah, he should he should shove it in their butts first um, to prevent the, the sodomy, and then and then he should strike them down. I absolutely agree with you, sir. I think you hit on something amazing. <laughs> well, there you go. We could have resolved this whole uh, show- mess very quickly. Now, did you also have a show? Like, are you still doing the tub show? I do. I would love to have you in the tub sometime. I Sam. don't bathe. It's our, well. That's fine. That's a religious choice, and I understand. Um, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's called getting wet and it's really fun. And I also do a show, um, I, I do a show called democracy. Wow. Which is in which I play myself as a, uh, really superficial kind of access Hollywood type reporter where I, I talk, like I'm, I'm going to interview, um, uh, 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 Mr. Katz. Uh, I, I will refer to him as Mr. Katz who, uh, the Mr. Uh, publisher, Mr. Mr. Katz. Um, uh, the publisher of uh, of Mother Jones, and I am going to be interviewing a variety of other people at the uh, upcoming 
National Conference on uh, Media Reform in Boston. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of interviews there oh, and musician Aaron McEwen and different people like that. That's funny. You know, when when Air America first launched, we were at this uh, we had this huge party because we were funded by a con man. So I don't know if anybody ever got paid for that. But <laughs> it was at a, a huge, um, huge party in, uh, in back in 2004. And somebody came up to me and I can't remember what magazine it was from, but it was from like, I don't know, it wasn't People or something like that. And um, they said, do you mind if we ask you some questions? And I was like, oh, awesome. I'm going to, this is my first sort of real official pundit thing. And Ooh. the Ooh. question was, um, uh, John Kerry's pink ties. What do you think? And were you like, I think they're fucking great is what I fucking think. <laughs> I, I, it was stunning. I, I had no response for this person. I had no, absolutely no idea what to say at this point. Uh, I did a, a radio show on Sirius XM for two years for Cosmopolitan magazine. And thank God it was about sex and, and not about like beauty and makeup and shit like that. But my... God, just the inanity of some of the, the topics in the magazine. And they do it very well. They're very good at it. But, like, just the, you know, there's only so many times you can explain 40 ways to put on your lip gloss and 50 ways to blow your boyfriend and then make yourself puke so he won't leave you. Like, <laughs> really, I couldn't, I just couldn't, ugh, it was tough. But they paid me, and I respect that very much. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's what uh, our capitalist society is all about. So the details tonight, uh, it is down at um, uh, the Bowery Ballroom Bowery Ballroom in New York yeah. City. Doors are at seven and um, the headliners are Dow with the Tao. Sorry, not Dow. <laughs> she is not the Dow. Tao with the get down, stay down. And um, uh, some friends of mine who are awesome are the uh, Pearl and the Beard mm -hmm. and the band The Blood Sugars and a woman named Anna. I think her last name is Edgy. I don't know. I just bought her music on iTunes to support. And I can't pronounce her last name, but I'm sure I'll learn. And I'm uh, I'm hosting, and it's going to be really awesome and really fun. There's raffles, and you can win uh, prizes to do, go behind the scenes at the Colbert Report and do all kinds of fun stuff. So um, it's awesome, and all the proceeds go to Planned Parenthood. And you can find out more at ppnyc.org, uh, Sam. Sarah Benacasa at sarahbenacasa.com. Thanks so much for joining us. Good Thank luck tonight. So Have fun. Much. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Well, we earned our uh, explicit rating on uh, iTunes today. <laughs>